Welcome, welcome everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, my name is Lana Shalom and I'm welcoming you, welcoming you to this recording of today's open live session. Today's March 1st, 2022. And I'm here to talk to you about Neurographica. Just give me two, one to two minutes as I go live on Instagram and Facebook. And Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Just want to make sure I am live. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to, to today's live session. Hello, hello, hello. As I go live on Instagram and Facebook. Welcome everybody. Welcome to my open live session on Neurographica. Today we will be discussing what is Neurographica. Let me make sure here. Give me a second. Let me try again. Instagram is giving me some hard time. Okay, she should be fine. Okay. Welcome everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I'm welcoming you. Not happening again. Give me one more second. I need to go live on Insta. As I promised. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, trying to figure this out. Okay, there you go. Better. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Lana Shalom. I am a certified neurographic instructor and coach. I'm here today with you to talk about neurographica. What is neurographica? Uh, for the past few weeks, a lot of people have wrote to me in upright messaging. A lot of people have been trying or asked me to join my group, World of Neurographica. I actually have two groups, World of Neurographica and the Planet uh, Neurographic. World of Neurographica, I opened up with my colleague and friend, Margarita Miller. And uh, last year we led all of the Neurographica courses that are algorithms, the algorithm models. And this year, Margarita, is taking somewhat of a break because she's moving and she has a lot of uh, personal things going on. And um, I'm leading a lot of courses. People have been joining me. People have been asking me, what is Neurographica? What is it about? And I started watching and seeing that a lot of people are opening up groups. A lot of people are inviting me in the groups. I am so, so glad to join the groups. I'm so glad to see so many groups forming. Um, I want to tell you a little bit, and I see a lot of people asking, what is this? What is this all about? What kind of, what is it? You know, and uh, I want to tell you, uh, I had some few people approaching me to do like a coaching podcast or a psychological, you know, a psychology podcast. And, uh, and I've been thinking, what do I tell these people about Neurographica? Um, welcome, welcome. Please let me know you're watching by either liking or just saying hello, hello, hello. Um, today is March 1st, 2022, the first day of spring. Yes, I know officially spring begins much later um, in the second part of the month, but I want to officially begin spring. I want to officially start bringing hope, hope into the world that spring is coming. And usually with spring, we have renewal. We have 
we have hope and that's what we're all here for, right? To bring renewal and hope to us personally, to our communities and to the world at large. So welcome and let's build the hope together. I wanna to tell you a little bit it's, that's another reason why I want to tell you a little bit about Neurographica, because this is a great way to bring uh, relief, to bring, um, you know, release of stress. Again, to kind of quickly change your mood, to kind of bring some kind of, um, you know, uh, different understanding of something that's happening in front of you if you want to reach a certain goal. But I want to tell you more. I want to start from the beginning, okay? Um, I want to explain to you how um, people can change their uh, opinion or their approach to something in a therapeutic. And when I say therapeutic, by the way, neurographica is not a therapy per se. Uh, it's more of a coaching and psychological method. And the way it works is that we use graphics. And by graphics, I mean, we take a marker and a piece of paper and we start putting on the paper the way we feel. We start, it's like coming to a therapist and start, and the therapist asks you, what, what's going on? Why are you here? And Neurographica allows us to do this without talking, without having the need to explain what's happening, but just taking a marker and a paper and just putting down, what is it? How do I feel? Uh, different ways. I will get to drawing Neurographica a bit later. I will actually... Um, we will do a bit of a drawing exercise. I'm going to show you some actual practical hands-on um, neurographica exercises that you can do to, again, relieve this, 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 this feeling of fear, this feeling of worry, right, that we're all going through right now, no matter where we are. And yes, of course, certain areas in the world are much more um, concentrated and um, let's say I'm in the USA, but I'm still, I'm still in the world. I'm still in this, you know, um, I would say Gregor, right? In this aura of what, thinking what will happen. So first I want to tell you a little bit about Neurographica. <coughs> I want to explain how this method, the effect this method has on self-esteem, on positive thinking, on positive psychology, Conflict resolution, that's right. There is a way to use neurographical for conflict resolution. And of course, on reaching one's goal. Okay, I wanna bring into the field, into the, I want to bring into the understanding that neurographica for the past two years, neurographica has been actively developing as a scientific method. That's right, and actually absolutely full uh, way of developing in scientific method. Um, neurographica has been uh, used as a uh, topic for a dissertation, for a PhD dissertation for PsyD. The founder of Neurographica, I'm going to talk more about him later on. His name is Pavel Piskaryov. He has a PhD in PsyD in psychology. He is uh, the founder, the creator of Neurographica, a person who came up with a method, who um, actually formed the method and was able to categorize it and, and structure it. And also the person who popularized the method. Pavel Piskaryov right now is one of, well, he's the most, understandably, the most popular speaker in Russian. Um, in Russia, most of the people who went to learn neurographica go to learn from him directly. And um, he gave live sessions, he still does every month, he gives live life sessions in the basics course. And um, it's interesting to know, I myself are currently at the PhD program where I am planning to use Neurographica as a topic for my PhD dissertation. So Neurographica is a full psychological method. Like I mentioned, Pavel himself is a, a professional psychologist. He also has, a, uh, he's a professional coach and the method has, um, that's why the method is so effective because it has a lot of uh, coaching to, you know, uh, the way the coaching method, the coaching field was developed using NLP. Uh, the psychology is a lot of Jungian psychology. Um, we will actually discuss this in details on Thursday as I'm inviting all of you to come and draw with me. We will be drawing on Thursday. It will be a practical hands-on 
session as we will be drawing the pyramid of consciousness. And I have done a lot of pyramid of consciousness. I have at least three or four of them on my YouTube channel, Lana Shalom. You're welcome to go. You're welcome to watch. I, I do it from different aspects, different ways. And then Thursday, it will be something different. It will be something new. This way, this time, I am bringing Pyramid of Consciousness, and I'm going to show you how going through the Pyramid of Consciousness, we can go through all the modules of the Neurographica method. And when I say modules, I mean the courses that follow the basics course, OK? Again, let's go more into what is Neurographica, OK? For those of you who are completely new, for those of you who've maybe seen Neurographica at your friend's uh, profile, and you're like, what is this? Because I do want to tell you, it's quite mesmerizing. You see a Neurographic drawing, those of you on Facebook, you see it behind me, those of you on Instagram, you don't because there's no screen sharing, there's no background, um, but um, I will show it to you. I will show you a few Neurographic uh, drawings of my own, right? Let's see this one, this one, one of the latest. This is um, from my course I take with my colleague, Vera Zhuchkova. This course is titled Mama, and it's um, on working the relationship, like I mentioned, you know, Graphica is great for working on a relationship. This is another drawing from the course, Mama. Okay. Actually, this one, this one is from the course, uh, the butterfly effect. This was actually developed by Vera Zhuchkova, and I am currently leading it, um, thinking we're going to do another cohort um, in two weeks when we finish the financial generation. Um, I want to show you that neurographic, whenever somebody sees a drawing, they get instantly mesmerized because there is a lot of neural lines. The lines that you see, the, the wavy lines, right? Um, they're called neural lines, uh, short for neurological, maybe, because the word neurographica consists of two parts, neuro and, and graphica. And that's exactly what it is. The method is um, kind of consists of two parts. Neuro has to do with the development of the brain, the way the neurons work, the way we form neural pathways, the way we can form neuroplasticity, which is the belief that we can still form new neurons, new neural pathways. We can still bring different changes in the way our brain functions, right? And when we say our brain functions, the way it's operationally, the way it actively comes out is that the way we think. Okay, that's important to note. Um, and graphica, the second word in the word neurographica stands for graphics, which is the way we bring, which is what we do in neurographica. We take a marker, we take a piece of paper, and we start drawing. We start drawing certain things, certain symbols, certain attributes, which are called neurographica assets. I'm, I, like I said, I will go into it later on. Um, we actually learn this in depth during the basics course. The base neurographic and basics course is the course that is offered at the basic level. That's the first step in learning neurographic proficiently, in uh, get, becoming knowledgeable, in getting lots of practice. Um, the way to learn neurographica is actually two ways. One way is um, watching a lot of live open sessions. I have tons and tons of open live sessions where I talk about Neurographica. I go through all of the major parts of Neurographica, like seven steps of the algorithm, the pyramid of consciousness. I go step-by-step, level-by-level, 10 principles of Neurographica. Welcome to go to my YouTube channel, Lana Shalom. Welcome to watch them. They're open to everybody to watch. I am very open. I'm very excited. I'm very passionate about bringing the knowledge of Neurographica to everybody. So please watch, please um, become interested, please become like kind of aware and understanding how the method works. Now, the second part is the actual practice, the actual drawing. And yes, I have so many open live sessions again on my YouTube channel. Welcome to browse through them. Welcome to find the one that interests you the most. Maybe you want to draw the neuro tree. Maybe you want to draw just some kind of introduction, right? Um, but the best way to actually see the effect of Neurographica is to actually sit down and draw and practice and learn how to draw it in an appropriate way, learn how to use all the seven steps of the algorithm in the right order or in the right sequence. Is there a right sequence? This is a question to people who already took the basics course and you know the answer. Is there a right sequence? Is there a certain sequence we must follow or is there a certain sequence we choose to follow? Okay. 
want to tell you a little bit, and again, that will give you light into what is the method about. I became, I um, became familiar. I learned about Neurographica in 2017. Um, Neurographica, just to let you know, now is to 2022. This year, Neurographica will be celebrating in April, eighth year since its foundation. So uh, Neurographica was uh, um, created in 2014 in April. And a year later, it took a year for the founder, Pavel Piskaryov, to fully structurize the, the method and make a whole course in 2015. Um, the method started, uh, Pavel started teaching it to everybody. And in 2016, the first cohort of the instructors was formed. It was actually offline. People would actually, I know, I know somebody, one of my uh, actual trainers who traveled from Kazakhstan, which is not near Moscow at all. Um, she would travel every few weeks to be in the live sessions. She's the first cohort instructor. Uh, she actually currently teaches the coaching uh, component of the method. And 2017, the second cohort, that was online already. I was lucky enough to be a part of the third cohort in 2018. The first time I saw the method in 2017, I was mesmerized. I was completely um, taken and um, amazed at how the method would portray. It was a seven minute video. I still remember it. I'm gonna show you a, a picture now. One second. There's a picture that I wanted to show you. Right. Um, actually took a picture to show you the video. It's an interesting video. Those of you on Instagram, um, just bear with me. I definitely want to show, um, here it is. Okay. Those of you on Insta, you get to see my shared screen. I want to show you this first video. This was the first video. This is a seven minute video. The name says Neurographica, how to deal with problems within relationships. Okay, and the channel, it's in Russian, so I'm translating. The channel is a real woman. Okay, I remember in 2017 seeing this video and it kind of attracted my attention because at the moment I was actually looking into various art therapeutic you know, therapeutic art methods to deal with what's going on with me, had certain, you know, serious situations in life that I needed help with that I felt like I need to do something about it. And I chose art, I figured art would be a best way because I read about art therapy for a long period of time. I'll tell you a little bit about myself before I became the neurographic instructor in 2018, right? Uh, my background are my degrees in professional practice and special education in early childhood education and in uh, psychology, okay? For 20 years, I've been working with children, diagnosing children for developmental delays, working with children to decrease their developmental delays, to increase their intellectual and emotional abilities, um, to increase their uh, integration of life skills. I uh, actually developed my own unique way of increasing analytical skills within children. Um, a certain preparation program for gifted and talented program in New York City Public School, which is a, a huge, huge and very highly um, competitive program for children to enter. Um, I actually also developed my own unique method of reading, increasing, developing reading ability within children using the Orton Gillingham uh, approach. Um, it was very, very successful. I had a lot of practice. Um, I did a lot of private tutoring as well, as well as worked with agencies, with daycares and everything else. Um, in 2017, like I said, I was going through something very personal and I was looking for something on YouTube. The array of videos I saw, some of them were actually have to do with the Zen method or something that I discovered later called Zen Tangle. But when I saw this video in Russian, it really entangled me and we all understand why, because every time we see a neurographic picture, right, a neurographic drawing, we become um, inadvertently attracted to it because of the, of the way, of the way the neural lines go, right, they mesmerize you, right, um, and I started practicing 
like everybody else, I would say, like the majority of people, I started practicing from open videos. Now, to tell you what open videos were in 2017, there was this video, right? That talked a seven minute video that quickly went through all the seven steps. Um, the person who actually made the video, she's a colleague of mine now. Um, she graduated from the cohort of 2017. Um, we're together actually with the PhD program, an amazing, amazing um, instructor. Um, she was talking about Neurographica, but I was so mesmerized with the certain steps that she listed. And remember, seven minute video, so everything goes very, very quickly. I remember watching it so many times, putting it on slow mode, writing down all the steps and then trying to follow it, trying to draw what the person explains, how to draw, what to draw in order to release stress, release tension. I was like, I, I, I became interested. I became mesmerized. What is it? What else is out there? In 2017, there was nothing else out there. There were a few, like maybe three to four, I think later on toward the end of 2017, there were a bit more, but there were few videos made by Pavel himself where he would teach all about neurographic in libraries and like some kind of community centers and public, you know, public places. And I truly enjoyed listening to Pavel. Pavel has a very analytical approach to many topics in psychology, in coaching. And I was mesmerized, I was interested. Um, I started listening about his analytical explanation about how everything works, how everything, what everything is, what are the steps, and started drawing with them, with him. Um, it's interesting to know that I recently actually found, I want to share with you, I actually found few of my pictures, um, those first drawings, um, and my first, my first mm -hmm. approach was um, oh my God, I need to erase this drawings, okay? I'm gonna share, those of you on Facebook, you can see, those of you on Instagram, sorry, I don't have it in reality. I have it on my, I found it, you know, one of those um, FB memories, right? Um, I wanna share for those of you on Facebook, just to see. And that's interesting to note, okay? This was my first drawing. Um, you can see something, and I want to tell you, my first drawing, it's quite similar to what many of you I see drawn as your first result when you just see here. And remember, you guys are actually watching the YouTube videos that are open YouTube videos where we actually show you. The first open video that I saw by Pavel, he would draw again in a big auditorium uh, on, a, on a piece of paper. And the, of course, the, the, the video wasn't clear. There wasn't a straight above the table camera it was like a camera from afar so it was so hard to see the details but I remember enjoying listening to his explanations um yeah these were the first video so the first thing you probably notice the rounding is not exactly the way the way I first time I understood how to do the rounding was when you take uh, uh any intersection and just put a circle around it and it's so funny I have people who um just start and they and they send me their pictures and that's exactly what they do. And I explained to them that the rounding actually is the opposite, right? We bring the rounding in a different way. And um, again, this was in 2017. There were no other open videos. In 2018, I decided I am so interested to become fully, um, to become fully uh, uh, proficient in this method. And I started seriously thinking, and of course the first question to me, to myself mm -hmm. was, why? Why do I want to do this? I can just take the basics course and just do it for myself, right? Why do I need to learn how to do this professionally, proficiently? And I realize I'm a teacher. I am an educator to the core, to my bones, and I enjoy bringing this method. I, I would love, I would enjoy teaching this method to others. And the first thing that came to me was, I need to start teaching this in English. This is such an amazing, amazing method that everybody deserve, everybody have the right to know about it, right? And that was my predisposition. This was my goal when I went to become an instructor. And I wanna tell you, I keep that goal. I am 
constantly working on that goal because that goal is never ending, right? Once you reach that goal, it comes again, right? Every time I want to tell you that tomorrow, my 10th cohort of the basics course, I am so excited about it. And every time I teach it, I get, uh, you know, I, I realize that I'm sharing a piece of my heart with everybody else. And once it finishes up, it's like gestalt therapy, right? It's like, it becomes whole again. And I realize I need to reach even more people. As more people start writing to me, oh, we just missed this cohort. When is your next cohort? And I'm like, probably in a month or two, right? Um, that was my, my, my first goal, like I mentioned. And in 2018, I went to become the instructor, took the very intensive nine-month course. I actually traveled to Moscow um, in the summer of 2018 to be live at the live intensive where I actually learned from Pavel directly himself, listened to his lectures. We drew with him, you know, huge auditorium of like 200 people. I remember the first time, the first day I was sitting in the back and I couldn't hear anything because it was huge. Later on, they got him a microphone because he didn't expect so many people. But I remember from then on, always sitting at the first desk, coming early in the morning to take my seat at the first desk because I had to be, um, I had to be near um, the founder, right near Pavel, to hear his words, and they were like magic, guys. <laughs> they, when he talks, it's very mesmerizing to listen to him explain. Again, the, his approach, his um, very high energy. He's a very energetical person. He's a very um, high energy and Gregor, right? His, he definitely became more nowadays. You probably can notice, I know people who don't speak any Russian, who only speak English, who watch him. I have, I have a few people who told me, we watch him. I'm like, do you understand Russian? They're like, no, we just enjoy watching him. We feel the energy of neurographic from him. And it's true. So in November, 2018, was the first video I made. That was the first ever video in Neurographica um, in English. And I want to show you here. I have a picture here. Right. I want to share again, those of you on Facebook, you're lucky now because you can see my shared screen. Um, this was the first video you see on the very top, Neurographic and Basic Steps and Elements, um, 15K views. Um, this is the most, um, this is the most popular video. I know this was the first video on Neurographic in English. It's a two hour video where I actually explain everything and anything about what neurographic is. I talk about Pavel a little bit, I explain what the neural line is. And I even show a little bit of a catharsis of how to do a catharsis, which is usually a closed content that only uh, taught at the basic course level. So I explain a little bit and again, I, I, I bring the seven steps. Again, this was an intro video. This is my very first um, open video. I actually started teaching my good friends, you know, my close friends. I made a, a little uh, offline, you know, live sessions we had in Brooklyn, in New York. And, um, and that was more in Russian, but in English, this was my, my, my first step. And um, I want to tell you, nobody would watch the video. Nobody knew what it is. I would go to different forums. I would go to different groups and talk about Neurographica. And people were like, what? Huh? People look at me like, you know, like I was from space or something. And um, I did not give up, of course. I actually made a whole course in 2019. I designed my, you know, I taught my first basics course in Neurographica, but I made it on recordings only. I wasn't comfortable teaching live. I wasn't sure how it's going to be. I made it on recording. A lot of people would discover the method through my videos and would ask me and I would sell them. In 2020, mm -hmm. I decided I want to leave the live sessions in basics neurographica. Uh, we paired up with Margarita. Uh, Margarita lives in London and we paired up and we were teaching it. Um, I remember the first four students, I remember they're quite profusely because later on they right away went and became specialists. I, in 2020, as I started teaching the first basics course, I also received the permission, the right to reteach the specialist course, which is a professional way of, of bringing Neurographica to others, okay? Um, 
And from then on, you know, last year, 2021, and this year, I, uh, this year I'm doing more, last year I started doing more open live sessions to again, bring the knowledge of neurographic into open, right? A lot of, I do wanna bring your awareness on YouTube. There are so many videos. So in 20, like I mentioned, 2018, I went to become an instructor. In 2018 to 20, in 2019, in Russian on YouTube, appeared lots and lots of videos explaining neurographica. And when you watch it, you're like, huh? By people who are not proficient, by people who have no idea, who never, maybe they took uh, an open, maybe they saw an open session. Now they think they knew what neurographica is and they started teaching it. And I remember um, discussing it in the instructors group and we we're all like, we need to go out there and teach the right way drawing neurographic so people know the truth people know the right way people don't become you know um hooked up on videos which do not transcribe do not show the truth the real method so here we come to 2021 2022 and the same thing is happening now in english speaking youtube videos about neurographica my colleague constantly writes to me did you see this video and did you see that video i'm like no i don't watch them I'm not interested. And she's like, they can't do this. They're not qualified to teach neurographica. They don't know what it's about. And it's true. The, the way the videos show is that they show the method in such a, um, first of all, very simplified version, does not bring the truth, does not bring the background, the knowledge about what neurographica is. Neurographica, first and foremost, is a psychological method. It's a coaching method. And it's, uh, it's amazing. And the idea of neurographica is to start bringing relief, whatever stressful situation you're going to, whatever you're looking to achieve, right? Um, nowadays, neurographica, in, at least in the, again, taught by people who are not so proficient, it's more brought in as a neuro art method and it's more positioned as a, as a neuro art. So uh, honestly, it, it's okay. I, neuro art is exactly what it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful variation of neurographica. But it's misleading when people name it neurographica. They should name it uh, a method of neuro art because that's exactly what it is. Neurographica is a bit different. It does require going through all the seven steps of the algorithm. And it's important because this is how um, it works. This is how it brings relief, okay? Of course, you can do a simpler version. And that's what we're going to do, right? In about five to 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna transfer my camera and show it to you. But, um, Keep in mind, I want to bring this awareness to start taking classes from certified instructors, okay? There's a handful of us in English, but there's actually a cohort of English-speaking instructors um, graduating this year from the English-speaking institute. The institute became English-speaking last year, 2021. I'm very happy. I'm very glad to be a part of that beginning. Um, I was, I'm happy to be a catalyst for opening the Institute in English. And I actually taught at the Institute. I taught the, the specialist course and um, I organized, I was the background, you know, I organized all of the um, structure and um, all the documents and explanation about how everything works. Um, so that, that was an amazing, amazing milestone. And, um, I'm asking everybody, please make sure whenever you learn neurographic, ask what is your background? What, is, what are your qualifications? Um, what are your qualifications for teaching neurographica, right? Or ask them. Instructors can teach neurographica, specialists in neurographica can bring presentations, can, can do open sessions on certain algorithms such as NeuroTree, uh, NeuroRain, NeuroLotus. Right, so make sure you go to people who are qualified. Like I said, there are a handful of us. You're welcome to write to me and ask me, uh, is this person qualified? I will tell you because I know all of my, almost all of my colleagues. Um, yeah, I think I know everybody because I, um, since graduating in 2018, I also became a supervisor. And for the past three years, I've been a, an official supervisor at the Russian Speaking Institute, um, which had a separate cohort for like English speaking people. And I was supervisor there, I would help them. So I do know which people are certified, which people are, have the knowledge and uh, people who don't really, didn't really take. And again, that's okay if you wanna 
still watch it, still learn something. I always say, you know, there's no bad advertisement, anything uh, and everything is good. So I tell all my colleagues when they start saying, oh, how could they do that? I say, look, it's free advertisements for the method. And it's great that the method becoming popular in English. I'm very happy to see that. That was my goal, like I said, four years ago. And I'm so glad to see this goal come to realization, to see this dream come to realization, because it's truly an amazing, amazing method. Um, I want to discuss the fact that this method is great. One of the first ways to use the method is for self-coaching, okay? Any issue you have, whether it's a stressful situation, whether it's, um, you know, some kind of uh, um, conflict resolution, whether you want to figure out a relationship with other people or other entities, whether it's career growth, the first step to using Neurographica is to start using it for your own transformation, to start bringing transformation in your life. That's why the basics course in Neurographica, which is starting tomorrow uh, at 12, uh, at, I'm sorry, at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are starting the basics course tomorrow. Um, and the first step is to learn Neurographica to bring transformations to your own life, okay? I'm gonna show you a few few ways you can do, you can bring, um, you can do something like, like an express, right? If you are not feeling well, especially with everything going on with all of the news, we all live in this constant state of what will happen, right? And for some people it's actual fear, but for some people it's not necessarily fear, but it's this state of uncertainty that we're all dealing with, right? no matter where you are. And yes, like I said, certain people in certain areas of the world are actually in actual fear, in actual danger. And then there are people who are in the rest of the world and we feel helpless because there's nothing we can actually physically do. Um, and I'm here to tell you, maybe you can. Maybe you can just take a piece of paper and no, you can't fully express how you feel. You may have some anger again. You may have these feelings of, it's not full fear, but it's feelings of uncertainty. You don't know yet how you feel. You're not there yet. You don't feel fear, but you're like, should I be feeling fear, right? And this would be a great way for you to actually just take a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what size it is. You can even take those memo note pads. You know, that's what I used to do. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you, look, I have cut up pieces of paper like this all over my table. Um, whenever I have some stressful situation, this is what I do. I sit down, I take a piece of paper and I start drawing. Perfect way, 15, 20 minutes and you release all of the stress you have, okay? In the basics course, this is exactly what we learned. The basics course consists of four algorithms, okay? Um, the main one is the algorithm for removing limitations. I will go live tomorrow, <clears throat> nine or 10 o'clock, I will announce on my profile. What I will tell you, nine o'clock probably, what I will tell you what the course is about. Um, I'm gonna actually give you the details about the four algorithms so you understand how beneficial it is, okay? Um, and you just take any piece of paper, I'm gonna show you some techniques that you can do to bring again some relief a, bring relief into your system, into who you are, into your aura, and B, release some stress, release some anger, some, you know, um, you know, this feeling again. There's no name for this feeling, but I call it, um, I have some background in the constellations, the Hellinger method, and we call it collective unconscious, right? This collective unconscious memory of what the war was last century and we're all just, 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 we're afraid to go back there. And this again, just taking some few, doing some few simple, not gonna, you know, require much on your behalf, just few simple uh, techniques, how to bring release, how to bring relief to yourself, okay? I'm gonna change my camera for those of you on Facebook, okay? Those of you on, on, uh, on Instagram, I'm actually gonna put my camera, my phone up, and you will be able to also see what I'm drawing. I'm gonna put it down. Give me a second while I 
uh, I just want to make sure you see my paper. You should be able to see my paper now, right? Okay. Two cameras here. So we want to make sure both cameras, okay? One camera is for Instagram and one camera is for, um, for Facebook. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to remove my background so you will be able to see. Excellent, okay? Hmm. Okay, those of you on Facebook, you see a little bit of my phone, but I think it's okay. Those of you on Insta, you see my paper. Excellent. Huh. Let me see if I can do this. It's better. No. Okay, those of you on Insta, you may see things like kind of backwards, just kind of maybe turn your phone. <clears throat> so, oh boy. Okay, let me change it back. Realize the Facebook camera became. Uh-huh. Okay, I think now it's good. Okay, you probably the Instagram, you also see part of my keyboard, but that's okay, as long as you see the paper. Okay, so what are a few of the techniques that um we actually learn at the basics course. I'm going to give you like a very simplified version just for you to get an understanding. And again, actually hands-on practice. You can actually take it and use it any moment, okay? Um, I would actually carry with me when I used to travel. I would carry with me here. I still have it. A bag with uh, a small notebook, like a drawing pad and my markers, okay? So we're always with me. Okay. One way would be if you want to bring Okay, two, again, remember we mentioned two aspects. One is release. If you want to release stressful, you know, this feeling of stress, this feelings of uncertainty, one thing would be to draw the neural lines. What are neural lines? Just very slowly take your hand, use a marker. It's better than a pen. If you don't have a marker, yes, you can use a pen, but better use a marker. It brings a, a more, um, <clears throat> it makes a line bolder. Okay, look, if I use a pen, a pen Look how light the line looks, okay? And we will need to use a marker because for the technique of the rounding, the marker works the best. As you draw the neural line, breathing in and out, allow the neural line <clears throat> together with your breathing to release whatever is hidden, whatever is something that you cannot fully, you cannot fully express with your words, right, with your, with certain phrases, because you're not sure yet what's out there, right? You just feel it's, it's something uncomfortable. It's something hidden within you. It's something that needs to be out. You're not ready to talk about it. So although some people, I must say, can talk and are very loud and vocal about it, and it's great. And again, even for them, this, this method would be great. <clears throat> I personally feel the need to turn my pad around. You can do that. You don't have to. You can keep it horizontal. I want to turn it vertical. This is how I feel. And again, just create a, a line like this. Notice it's not a wavy line. We're not creating patterns. Um, and it's not a straight line. It's just a line that goes, right? It's a line of its own. I like to call the neural line the lifeline because it gives you you know, it brings life into any graphical, any drawing, right? You can take any drawing and we actually practice that at neurosketching and add neural lines to them. And they will become absolutely amazing. They will become alive. Any drawing, um, you know, you can take even a picture or a production uh, of uh, any, any famous drawing and just add a neural line and you will see how the, drawing will look differently you will be bring this you know this different energy to it the energy of life okay neural line actually reminds you probably you know of those ekg lines you know and we know that when there's a straight line that's not a good thing right we never want to see a straight line in the medical center we want to see life and life is about i'm going to give you another allegory okay as you draw go slowly Life is about going to the right and then going straight and then making a turn to the left, right? Going up, but it's constantly going forward. It's never stopping. Don't stop, you know? It's constantly going around and 
um, turning, going right and left, and sometimes it's straight. And sometimes, yeah, you may turn a little bit back, but you always go straight, right? And that's what it's all about, okay? So draw, I would say, about five to six, maybe. One, you can draw more, maybe you can draw 10 neural lines. And you will feel, as you draw the neural lines, how you will feel a certain tension releasing within you, okay? Okay, again, this is just to show you, at the basics course, we actually learn how to draw catharsis. A catharsis is um, a more thorough way of releasing stress and bringing um, harmony into your, uh, into your life. But that's something I am not able to fully do in the open drawing because it really requires a lot of... Um, like it requires a lot of explanation. And, in, and just to give you an idea, the basics course is two, our two sessions of four hours each, okay? And it is very intense. It's very, um, what do we do at the basics course? I wanna tell you, again, you get a lot of knowledge, uh, deeper knowledge than what's given in the open uh, sessions. <clears throat> when you do, um, and we bring lots and lots of practice Okay, that's main idea of why I decided to do the basics course as a live, right? I know um, some people give it only in recordings. I'm very keen on giving the live sessions because A, when you draw live with me during the session, it's a completely different ballgame. It's a completely different feeling. You can ask any of my students, they will vouch for it. Um, I have a lot of people who come who, who do the live dressing, the, the live um, uh, sessions with me, uh, even if they already have even the certification, because this is a different feeling, you know. Um, I have, uh, and it's different than watching the recording. Plus, there's an uh, actual option of asking questions and hearing my answers. I show, I show how to do the reflection process, which is also an important part of um, learning the method proficiently. You know, it's, it's very, very hands-on, okay? So this would be one way. Now, if you want to bring release in a different way, if you want to bring, you know, kind of, I call it bringing sunshine into your life. If you want to do that, and then the best thing would be Honestly, this works like magic. Try by me so many times. Just drawing circles, okay? Just draw circles, any size, anywhere in your paper. Just draw big, small, yet they can overlap. You know, go intuitively wherever you feel like drawing circles, okay? Just draw circles. Just this practice, even if you don't know anything about neurographic, if you haven't watched any of my other live videos, if you guys watch the live videos where I actually explain how to do the rounding, how to do the neural line, go to the seven steps of the algorithm. That would be the first step I would advise. Um, everybody who comes to my basic scores, that's where everybody start. I give them the open sessions, watch the seven steps of the algorithm, step by step. Every step I explain how to do the rounding, how to do the neural line in details, okay? Again, guys, the Circles can be drawn any way from left to right, okay? It can be from right to left. It does not matter. I promise you this has been proven, okay? Array of sunshines, um, lots of new circles. Circles are a symbol of comfort, care, love, um, God, universe, whatever you feel comfortable with, right? Somebody taking care of you. Circle is a feminine symbol. It's a feminine symbol of feminine energy. It's a symbol of motherhood. It's a symbol of mother, right? What is mother all about? Care, comfort, love, right? That's what motherhood is all about. That's what the symbol, the egregor, the archetype of a mother is. Caring, taking care, right? My son was here visiting me this past weekend from New York. I live in Florida now. Um, and I felt like I haven't seen him for uh, a few months. Um, and um, I, he, he's a young guy, he's in college. And I, that's all I felt like I wanna do. I wanted to show him my love. I wanted to shower him with care, right? Those of you probably understand when, when your college can visit, you just, 
I ask him in advance, what do you want me to cook for you? What do you want me to do? And that's what it's about, right? Motherhood is about care, love, bringing joy, making sure. And I think most of us feel it nowadays, especially um, females, right? Making sure we have peace in the world, making sure that our children have peace ahead of them, that there's only, there's only good. Oh, hi, Felicia. Yes, sorry. And now I can't. finally went back to my Facebook. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Thank you. Yes, and just draw lots and lots of circles, guys, even if you don't know what to do the rounding. If you want, those of you who do know how to bring um, the neural lines, you're welcome to bring neural lines into your circles. But for now, I promise you, just taking a piece of paper and just drawing lots and lots of circles will bring so much release. I have a full video on this method. Um, you know what? I will find it and post it as a comment to this um, video and I will actually um, repost it on my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Lana Shalom. You can go there and it will be a new video because it will be either the first or the second because I'm also gonna post this video that we're doing now. Um, and the point is, you can watch the video and you can do the full method, you know, the rounding and the neural lines. But again, just bringing circles will bring relief to you, will bring you this feeling that there is hope, that there is, you know, everything will be okay. Somebody's taking care of us. Somebody is bringing relief to this world. We will prevail. The peace will prevail. Um, and we will bring, we can all pray together and we can all do this. And this is important. Another reason why I decided to do this. Guys, do this. Every time you feel better, you bring relief into your life. You bring relief into your family. You bring a uh, positive energy into your community. And as a result, your country and the world at large, okay? And let's be hopeful. Let's be um, let's bring love and care into the world and the world will come back with the same thing to us, okay? Like I said, add circles, um, just even taking paper and just drawing circles all over. Even, I used to do this. The exercise is called 40 circles, okay? Hi, Amy. So nice to see you and so nice to, yes, Thank you for joining. I'm so glad to see you here. Um, just watching and drawing the circles, okay? Just 40 circles. I used to do this a lot. Again, a great way to relieve. Circles are also about harmony. So every time we draw circles, we bring harmony into, again, our existence. And thus, since we know, all we all know the rule of socialization, the rule that we all we all bring influence to each other. So whenever you feel happy, you feel harmonious, you bring happiness and harmony and love to others around you, okay? So these two techniques, welcome to use it, welcome to use it all the time, guys. This is the best way to do anything and everything, okay? I'm gonna turn off in a second. changing my camera so I can say goodbye to you in person. Thank you everybody for joining me. Oh, I need to turn it around. Okay. Thank you everybody for joining me. Um, Instagram doesn't see me flowing because you're up. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. I'm going to tell a bit more about each algorithms. Give you again some preview maybe. We allow you to experience it a little bit. And if you're welcome, welcome to join the basics course. It's a great way to get to know the method proficiently and to practice it, to be able to practice it as self-coaching, okay? And Thursday, join me. I'm going to write it on my profile. Probably um, Thursday will be at 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. I will do a live session of the pyramid of consciousness. 
and we'll show you how each step, each level of the pyramid actually connected to each module, each course within the Neurographica program, okay? Those of you who are interested in seeing how each level of the pyramid of consciousness is connected to the seven steps of the algorithm, because seven levels and seven steps, there is a video you can watch again. It's on my YouTube channel, okay? Wishing you a beautiful day ahead and wishing peace to all of us.